Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. When a customer agrees to make a purchase for which they will pay you at a later point in time, you enter the sale into an invoice. The invoice lists the customer's information along with an itemized list of how much that customer owes for the goods or services that they have agreed to purchase. To create an invoice, you can select Customers from the menu bar and choose the Create Invoices command. Now, the particular invoice form that is used to enter the details of the transaction can be changed by using the template drop-down in the upper right corner of any invoice form in order to switch between the various invoice templates that are available. Now you enter the customer information for both invoices and sales receipts by using the Customer Job drop-down to select a customer or a job that you have entered into the customer list. That will fill in the information for the customer in the Bill To area and you can also see their terms. At this point you would select the date that the invoice was created and you should see the customer information fill in. Now at the bottom of the invoice, you list all the items purchased on their own lines by selecting a choice from the item column in the line item area. And these items are the different services, inventory parts, non-inventory parts, and other types of items that we've created in the item list. You can then input the quantity and it should fill in the description for the item or you can enter or change the description. Then you can input the price for each item or the total amount. And once again, if you use the quantity, then use the price for each in order to come up with the amount. Or just skip the quantity and the price and just fill in the amount. Once again, you should see the customer's information such as their tax rate applied and you can also see for each individual line item whether that item would be taxable or non-taxable for the selected customer and you'll see their tax rate also. You can input a message to the customer that would print on the invoice in the customer message box. At that point, if you would like to save this invoice and then continue to create invoices, you can just check the To Be Printed checkbox and click Save and New to save this invoice and bring up another new invoice. Or if you're finished printing your invoices and creating your invoices, just click Save and Close to save the invoice and close the invoice window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.